Hey guys, this is Razor Christ bringing you a tutorial on how to hack your Wii using the Twilight Princess hack. This will allow you to install and play homebrew games and apps. The materials needed for this hack are an original copy of Twilight Princess and an SD card. Now any SD card will work, but I find that SanDisk 2 gig cards work very well. That's what I have. First, the SD card needs to be formatted correctly in order for the Wii to be able to read it. So, connect it to your computer, then go to My Computer, and right click on the SD card drive. Go down to Format, and for the file system, you want to choose FAT or FAT16, not FAT32. FAT or FAT16 then hit start. Click OK and wait for it to finish formatting. Once the SD card has been properly formatted, insert it into your Wii. Okay, next you'll need to have played Twilight Princess at least once so you'll have a save game file created on your Wii. Now, from the main Wii menu, you want to go to Wii Options, Data Management, Save Data, Wii, and find your Twilight Princess save game, which is right there. Click on it and hit Copy and copy it to the SD card. Once it's been copied, check your SD card to make sure it's there. Then go back to Wii and erase it. Put the SD card back into your computer and then open it up. You should see a folder called Private. Go into it, then into Wii, then Title, then you should see a folder called RZDE, which is important because it tells you what your game region is. The E stands for English, obviously. The other two types are P for Euro and J for Japan. Now go into the RZDE folder. You should see a file called data.bin. This is the actual Zelda save file. Now, if you want to back this game up so that you can copy it back to your Wii at a later time and keep playing on it, just copy it to the desktop. That way you'll have a backup of it. Once it's copied, delete it from the RZDE folder. Then back out to the root directory of your SD card, where it says private. Now open the Twilight hack files included in the tutorial, and you will want to copy and paste everything in that to the SD card, and overwrite. Once that's done, we will uh, put the card back into the Wii, and continue from there. Okay, back at your Wii, you want to go to Options, Data Management, Save Data, Wii, and to your SD card. You're going to see three files, but you only need to copy the USA one. So copy that to the system. And once it's been copied, go to Wii, make sure it's there. Then back out all the way to your Wii main screen. From here, load up Zelda. I'll show you the list of save games. There should be two, Twilight Hack 0 and Twilight Hack 2. 
there's no real difference between these two except for one important difference. Uh, the t on the if you look on the bottom of your Zelda disc, uh, on the inside edge, there'll be a serial number. Now that serial number at the end will see it say either zero A or two A. Now the the difference is the two A is for version two of Zelda. And if it says 2A, then you need to load Twilight Hat 2. If it says 0A, Twilight Hat 0. I just bought mine, so mine says 2A, so I will load Twilight Hat 2. So I'll just load that up. And once it loads, you'll see a guy in front of you. All you have to do to start the install is to run up to him and press A to talk to him. Now I had a bit of trouble with this uh, when I first tried it. It uh, when I hit A, it froze and pumped. Now this is because I loaded the wrong save game file for my game. I loaded zero the first time instead of two. Uh, if this happens to you, don't panic. Just hold the power button on the Wii console until it turns off, then turn it back on and try again using the other save game file. It's not a big deal. It doesn't hurt. I had to do it three times to get it. So, anyway, go ahead and talk to him, and this will boot the install, as you can see. Blah, blah, blah. Don't care. up, just hit the one button on your Wii Remote, and it'll bring you to this screen. Now, the only thing important about this installer is one thing. The button that you choose to accept the install, and the button you choose to cancel. Now, as it says, you can cancel at any time and return to the main system menu on the Wii without making any changes, simply by pressing the power button on your Wii, the number 2 button on the GameCube pad, or the home key on your Wii remote. Like it says, it will not screw up anything if you cancel out. It doesn't make any changes if you choose to cancel. That being said, the way to proceed with the installer, to accept the installer, is you can either hit the reset button on your Wii, the start button on the first GameCube pad, or the number one button on the first Wii remote. So I'm going to hit number one. Same stuff here, just press accept, whatever button you want to choose. And it is ready to install, so press accept again. And we'll it will install the homebrew channel. Once it's done, it'll say installation complete. Press accept or cancel to exit to the Wii system menu. So hit accept. And it will boot back to the main screen. Once it's booted up, you will see a new beautiful channel right there called the homebrew channel. This will allow you to load all of your homebrew games, your homebrew applications, uh, emulators, um, lots of good stuff, and it will also allow you to install a program called Wii Gator, and this program allows you to load games that you have downloaded the ISO and burned to a DVD disc, and that installation and setup will be covered in part two of this tutorial, so I will pick it up there.